On April 2, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, successfully demonstrated a landing experiment for a reusable launch vehicle, RLV, at its testing range in Chitradurga, Karnataka. It was the second of the five tests that are a part of ISRO's efforts to develop RLVs. A reusable launch vehicle is a space shuttle that can travel from low Earth orbit to outer space to deliver payloads and return to Earth for use again. ISRO's first demonstration was conducted successfully in 2016. The parts of an RLV return to Earth intact after a mission and can be recovered and later reflown for another mission. ISRO had first announced the first trial of RLV in 2010, but it was put off due to technical reasons. Another was hinted at in 2015, but it was again grounded. Finally, on May 23, 2016, ISRO sent a winged spacecraft into space. A rocket carrying a payload of 1.75 tons was launched into space in 91.1 seconds, and it reached a height of 56 kilometers. Then the RLV separated from the rocket, climbed to an altitude of 65 kilometers, and then splashed down in the Bay of Bengal. The April 2nd launch was the second such launch. The major advantage of an RLV is cost reduction. The parts of a rocket can be reused, reducing the need to manufacture similar parts for the next mission. Another benefit is that RLVs make rocket parts readily available. After the launch of the first RLV in 2016, then ISRO chairman K. Sivan said that by using RLVs, the cost of the launch could be reduced by nearly 80%. The RLVs are heavier than traditional rockets. This is due to supplementary systems, including landing gear and surplus propellant needed to land the rocket. Moreover, the launcher may need to be refurbished after the landing. It might make the process lengthy and expensive. The US currently leads in RLVs. NASA's Discovery and Atlantis Space Shuttles were among the most famous RLVs. But the NASA RLVs had two failures over the years. Two of NASA's shuttles, the Challenger in 1986 and Columbia in 2003, crashed. Both crashes killed all seven crew members aboard. In 2017, SpaceX also launched a reusable launch system in its rocket Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. In 2020, Rocket Lab, founded in New Zealand but now located in the US, also successfully tested the re-entry of its Electron rocket. Another American company, Virgin Galactic, is also developing a re-entry rocket named Spaceship 2. Reports suggest that China is researching the reusability of its Long March 8 systems. Russia's Roscosmos is working on developing the Soyuz 7 or Amur launch vehicle for a reusable first stage. The European Space Agency also started the development of a prototype reusable first stage launcher Themis in 2020. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.